Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are back with the last gameplay that I have for the Assassin. Um, I looked through, or for the Peacekeeper, I looked through, uh, none of the gameplays were too exciting. Um, I decided to kind of ditch a couple of them. There was like a couple of 8 and 4s, or an 8 and 3, or a 9 and 6, or something like that. that that's not really, I don't really need to upload that to the channel. Uh, so this is going to be the last Peacekeeper, unless I play with it more and get some more gameplay, but probably won't because I love my... I love my Naboshi, and I, I really want to get some packs to unlock for it, and that's just, you know, a great way to start out a gameplay, you know, just getting ganked on C, and I literally couldn't move. Uh, it looks retarded in the video, but I literally couldn't move. They had me, they had me, like, pinned, and my character just couldn't move. I couldn't move. It was ridiculous. But enough of that. Let's get into the gameplay. Uh, so I am playing as the Peacekeeper, and I think I just was going to talk about the, I'm just going to talk about the Peacekeeper in this video and kind of what I like and what I don't like about the Peacekeeper. So the dagger, I wish you just had two swords because the dagger is kind of useless. It has horrible range and it really just serves no real use to it. And I just don't even, it, it's just a really bad weapon. Uh, the sword that the uh, Peacekeeper has is nice. Um, it's a little bit... I wish she did a little bit more damage or had like a buff if you hit from behind because she really is kind of an underwhelming character. She doesn't do a whole lot of damage. She doesn't... Um, she doesn't do a whole lot of damage and she doesn't have a whole lot of health. So you really have to play it smart. Um, she does do decent damage in that combo that I just did. That's actually a really nice combo. Um, that strong attack swing in, uh, which I might actually try to play with her again because now that I have a full a fuller understanding of this game, um, I think I could I, I could play this character pretty well. Uh, the Naboshi is just too overpowered, which is why you have like in this game I feel like if you're not gonna balance a character, you need to have people playing as her. And one of my friends doesn't like playing at her, so we have him as a tank. And we have me and another guy, or two, or three of us playing as her, so it gets interesting. Um, you can see there, I had two of them come up on me. I couldn't finish off that kill, so I'm going to take off like a pansy towards uh, uh, the upper top at A, I believe, um, in order to try to get health back, but they control it, so I don't... I'm not going to be able to get it back in time, but it does buy me some time to run around. It also stalls them out of points um, while I'm up there, so I'm going to try to do the full rotation back to C to get my health back, because at this point, I thought there was still two chasing me. Now, at this point, I do realize that none of them are chasing me, but I might as well go capture C and get my health back. Um, and right here, I'm going to go down here in the corner, so when they get here, I have a small understanding of where they are, and I can prep um, and get the first drop on them like this which was a really nice opening, and then he misses an attack, and I'm really, I don't know why, I like, sit there and I'm like, oh, I gotta press X or Y, and I just never do it, but. With the Peacekeeper, um, it's a lot of playing stealth, which is really hard in this game, you gotta kind of sneak up on people, but everybody shows up on the minimap, so it makes it a little hard to sneak up on people. Um, and with the Peacekeeper in particular, and I think this is probably with all the Assassins, you're not winning a two-on-one. Her abilities are also kind of ass and there's like no point in doing them. Uh, here we decided I needed to push back and grab and help them grab B but then our troops started to push forward and I wasn't needed. Uh, so we get kind of you get kind of caught in this game um, just not knowing what to do sometimes. Um, this whole contested area in the middle sometimes just becomes the dumbest clusterfuck ever. Uh, you have you can have all four uh, player characters in the middle and then you have all the armies in the middle and you're trying to move and you can't get through your own army or the enemy army and then you're attacking the enemy army and then it it hits you it's just kind of an annoying thing in the middle uh but my main role that i try to do for my team once again playing the support role is running back and forth to a and c um, on maps and trying to keep them either contested or capture the points entirely and here we go with a nice little gank as he tries to go down the ladder. Uh, then he comes back up. It was just a really weird series of events. Then we have four people on C now after he got killed. And what I get better at, as you can see in this, I didn't manage my stamina. So that is something I do get better with is managing stamina. Um, because I'm just completely wiping my stamina and then running around and then swinging, running out of stamina and then trying to fight, which is just a horrible idea. And here we go, I'm in their spawn, which is a horrible plan, because 
they're all spawning in their spawn because we just wiped three of them and you can see two more dead down there so we think we wiped the whole team the whole team was spawning there um so i run back to a in an effort to get them one of them to follow me which is what happens and then i get shield bashed uh i wish the assassin and the um the naboshi the two characters that i really i really only played those two characters i wish they had better um abilities their abilities are kind of weak um Except for this one, that I can never land. I don't think I hit it. Oh no, I did hit it. No, no, I missed. I missed. I don't think I've ever... I landed that thing like once or twice, and it actually is pretty good, but it's really hard to land some of these attacks. And like the arrow barrage, like here we go, I ran out of stamina. So I need to back off for my stamina to regen. I do get a swing off there, and I'm out of I'm out of stamina, so... We're having an out of stamina fight, because that guy was out of stamina too. And right here, Recovering Network Connection. I hope this isn't a thing when the full game comes out with uh, with whenever a player leaves that you disconnect. And so here we go. I run over here, and I, I didn't fully understand the revive system. I thought when you got him to kill them all, you, you didn't have to. You didn't have to worry about them reviving. I thought they just were perma-dead, but that was not the case. And so I played that poorly. Uh, we are out slaying them in this game. Um, I believe six and one, six and one for me and my friend, and then ten and one for the for the uh, for one of the randoms. And I think the other random doesn't have any kills, but that's fine because we're dominating this game. And so try to get down here on the middle. That stupid middle section, dude. I got hit into it for like the first two times. I was like, why, dude? Why is this in the map? And here we go. I'm out of I'm out of stamina again, but I get the kill onto him. Huh. There's a lot of flaws in this now that I'm like watching it back. It's kind of interesting to watch this back uh, and commentate over it because I'm seeing a lot of mistakes that I made with stamina and stuff like that. And here I'm just trying to get our points up so that we can finally finish them off and they can't rally. Uh, so we've got one guy left and we are on the run to find him. I believe I was, they told me to cut him off here at the top. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here and cut him off on his way to A. Um, actually, I didn't even have to do that. They finished him off before I even got there. I think my friend told me uh, that our random was chasing him up, so I needed to cut him off at A, and then, then the random finished him off. Uh, but that is probably the last Peacekeeper gameplay that I have. Let me know if you guys just like me kind of watch, going over these and kind of randomly talking about stuff. Uh, the Halo, ones, Halo Wars ones are a little more formal. I kind of tell you what's going on, what I was thinking, how I was doing it. And these are kind of informal, where I'm just kind of talking over them. But I will have some serious... Not serious, but better talking over the Nuboshi. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.